Hi, I'm Paul, Paul Baldessini. I'm back in the studio to start my overpainting of this uh, new work, Single Red Rose. Uh, I usually begin uh, by laying out my standard palette of 14 colors here. And since today I'll be working on the background, which is predominantly green, green mixtures, I've uh, pre-made several piles of green, a very deep green, which is my, my working dark green, to which I'll add... Uh, oranges and yellows as necessary to warm it up. This, this is, though, is a basically a cool, a cooler green. I've got a medium warm green, which is the color of some of these leaves, like right here and in here. And then I've got some very cool greens that represent some of the cooler greens we see in the leaves that are picking up some uh, sunlight, skylight. Uh, <clears throat> I've got a 14 color palette, which I almost always use, some white, and then my jelly medium. So, it's time to bring this painting to life. So I'm starting out with my jelly medium and some of this darker green mixture right here. <laughs> and I'm gonna just start by scrubbing this all over the background with a, with a big brush. I'll cover the whole thing. Like so. And this medium stays uh, wet and tacky for several hours during the whole session, which is great. It practically dries overnight. So. I'll start by laying down this uh, base coat. And I'll come right up right up to the edges of the of the rose. Today is all greens. Warm and cool greens. Like I said, several of which I've pre-mixed. And some which I'll mix as I go along as necessary. Adding more yellows, whites, and some orange. This color is very transparent. I'm not going to get into what the mixtures are. That's all on my website. Walvasinifineart.com I describe my palette so you can see what I'm doing. based on the colors that I've outlaid uh, there. I described the whole palette and all the colors. So that's a start. Now I'm gonna to move to some of these other colors that I pre-mixed and lay in. This is called the block-in. And it's very, it's very rough. I work kind of fast. Just to get the basic shapes down. I'm just kind of modulating warm and cool greens. background is very abstract. It's kind of actually, this is the funnest part of the painting. I don't have to worry about detail or anything like that. Now I go to my blender and start pulling it together with that. Doesn't matter if they all blend in, I'm going to go back over it again anyway. But it's a start. And it's already looking pretty good. Get my rag. Right, now I'm going to come back and build these colors back a little bit. Like so. I see there's a little pink in there, so I'm going to, I'm going to cheat a little bit and add some of that in right now. Just a touch. 
which will gray it out a little bit. This method of painting I call my piles and puddles. These are the piles and on these smaller ones become the puddles. And they stay wet for the whole session, which is great. I can keep, or I can keep grabbing color notes out of there and adding them in as necessary. And go back and blend again. All these edges are soft because the background's out of focus. Okay. So back again, I finished this top section. It's pretty much blocked in. Uh, as it dries, it's gonna get a little tackier and I'll come back in and add uh, a little more uh, lighter tones here and there and blend those in again. But right now I'm gonna work on this leaf right here. So it's more of the same. I'm getting, uh, this time the, the green is very warm, meaning it's got, it's got lots of orange in it. A little bit of yellow. You can see the difference there against the other cool greens. And modulating the warms and the cools really brings a lot of life and vibrancy and into the uh, realism of these leaves. And the, the pink is showing through here and there, which also adds to that vibrancy. And I'm matching my values where the values are dark, I'm applying darker passages. It's kind of dry paint with a little bit of medium. Come back and add the, the bluish uh, tones here, the lighter tones. And then we blend again. Come back in again here. Sometimes I apply a lot of pressure, sometimes just a little. And then, you know, lo and behold, in a short while we have a, we have a leaf. All right, I'm putting the final touches on the passage I painted today, which is most of the left, left side of this composition. I'm just adding the final darks and lights while the paint is still tacky from this session.
couple of lights. Put it on heavy at first and then I'm going to just blend it in. Get the blender out. I think that about does it for this session. I'll let it dry overnight and I'll move on to the red rose.